Hey, Amy here. Shh, don't wake the baby. Welcome to week three of Growing Up Guide Pup. As you can see, Ricky's been doing a lot of growing. Good girl, Ricky. She was about 13 and a half pounds when we first picked her up. And now, she's over 16. Yeah! Now I'd like to address a question from one of our viewers. Three Bricks Hire wanted to know more about potty training. Potty training a guide dog puppy is a little bit different than potty training your regular puppy. We don't put out newspaper. We don't put out training pads. We don't just toss them in the backyard to go potty. Are you chewing my microphone? So when we potty train these guide dog puppies, first thing is they're always on a leash, which means we got to go out there with them. We tend to take them out about every 20 minutes. I know, big inconvenience, but it helps prevent accidents. We've been outside for more than 20 minutes at a time waiting for this puppy to potty. When they actually do go potty, we give them the command and their command is do your business. When they're this age, they don't know it yet. so. We wait until they're actually doing it to tell them. And the important thing to remember is these are very young puppies and no matter how experienced of your razor you are, every once in a while you will have an accident. Ricky. But we try to minimize those as much as possible. Uh-oh. Oh, she just peed on the bed. And the other thing is as soon as they wake up from a nap or they've been sleeping in their crate, outside they go and they don't go back in until they've done their business. I'm sure you were noticing Ricky was getting a little unsettled, so she's now on the floor chewing on a toy while we finish our segment here. One of the other things we do that's very important as puppy raisers is teach the puppies good house manners. So for this exercise, we're gonna seat the floor with a hat, a few shoes, <laughs> some toys, and a couple of socks. So one exercise we do, we kinda call it seat in the floor, where we place objects on the floor, such as shoes, socks, hats, anything that they're not supposed oh. to have, along with some of their toys, which they can have. Mm -hmm. And the object of this is for the puppies to pick only their toys to chew on. Yay, good girl. Yay. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for tuning in. So remember, hit that subscribe button, leave any comments or any questions you would like to see answered in future episodes.